The build show is on the road today. We're in Lawrence, Kansas at the Prosico test lab. And behind me, this giant rig is going to simulate hurricane forces on the wall. So let me show you what we've got. On this side of the wall, you can see the back side of the studs, the back side of these windows. You're outside the chamber. But inside the chamber, let me show you what they've got going on in here. If I can get my leg in. Yeah, OK, there we go. So inside the chamber here, on this side of the wall, you can see we've got all the Prosico fluid applied water and air barrier product. So this orange product here, this is their Cat 5, applied just like we'd apply it on a house. The red material on here is Fast Flash. You can see we've got a couple of cheap vinyl windows on this side. And then we've also got a really nice German window here. And this chamber, when it all gets sealed up, is actually going to throw tons of water and wind on this wall. Hey guys, hold on, hold on, don't start the test, don't start the test! Okay guys, so here's what we got. Behind us, this massive rig you're seeing here is actually one of several test chambers that these guys have built. Now they built these for several reasons, but one of the main reasons was they wanted to put their products as they design them and figure them out through some extreme testing that really they can only do if they had the equipment. The beauty of this though is they can also test multiple assemblies, but first let me show you what's going on in this massive rig here. This is a fully welded aluminum chamber. They've got a couple windows here and you'll see there's a big bath of water sitting here. It's green. They've dyed it with this fluorescein dye because when we throw water and wind at this wall, any leaks that come through, that fluorescein dye under the black lights I'm going to show you in a minute are going to really show up. So they've got all the gauges here. They can pump up the pressure and the airflow. You can see we've got all kinds of pumps. Everything's going on here. But basically what's happening is they're going to be able to simulate hurricane forces, both water and air on this side of the wall to blow against this and see how the assembly does. Now I showed you briefly on the inside, but let's take a quick look here. On the inside of this unit, they've got a wall that's all Prosico products in here and they've installed all these windows. They've also done a real nice job of taking a detail that I really like, which is concrete foundation to the framed wall and they've used fast flash on there. So this is all fluid applied. You can see the raw concrete here. And then on this wall assembly, we've also got a couple of cheap vinyl windows in this really nice German window. Now, they've set these in a way that's a method that I really like and come to, come to appreciate and I use on my jobs, where the fast flash comes all the way in on the jam, so all the wood on all four sides is protected. And then they use this product, this is Prosco's Air Dam, all the way around on the jam, the sill, and the heads. And what that's going to do is on this cheap vinyl window, it's going to make sure this window, number one, is glued in place. It's going to add quite a bit of structure to the window. But really, we're making sure that any water that leaks into the window or through the frame of the window is going to leak to the outside of the building and not to the inside. And then there's also no exposed lumber there. So on this side of the wall, we're going to see a test window or a, a uh, pardon me, a, uh, a gauge here so we can see the airflow and the air pressure. They've got some black lights going. We're actually going to turn off the uh, overhead lights so we just have black lights going close up the windows and we're going to see what happens to this wall when we actually kick up the pressure. Now remember a category 5 hurricane starts at 155 miles an hour. That's some serious wind and this spray rack on here is going to be spraying some serious water against the wall while the wind goes. The pressure in this chamber though is both negative and positive. So they can, just like in a hurricane, there's times when the hurricane is blowing against the building and there's times when it's sucking away. And that's what they can do here. They can go negative or positive. So let's fire up the test and see what happens. All right, the test chamber is running. Let me navigate what we've got here. We've got black lights on. And remember we talked about the floor scene die. <laughs> you can see these cheap vinyl windows are already leaking and we weren't even to 40 miles an hour. Now you can see the airspeed up here in the center and you've got the air pressure which is in um, inches of water column. Now this test rig can take it up really high, over 10 inches of water column, which is going to be equivalent to over hurricane forces. 
Now, interesting, we ran this test yesterday, and we're going to run it again today to failure, but yesterday, you saw these windows just absolutely gurgling water and air out, even at low air pressures. But interesting enough, the German window over here, we had to go up to 150 miles an hour before we had a single leak out of that window. What's the takeaway here, though? The takeaway is that the assembly didn't leak, the window frame leaked. All those Prosco products on the other side of that wall are holding out both the air and the water. And speaking of water, that spray rack that's on the other side there, it is blowing some serious water. We're talking about six gallons per square foot per hour. And then when you add in the wind pressure, both negative and positive, these windows are definitely going to fail. Again, that German window though, 150 miles an hour before we had a single pinhole, it looked like that pinhole was happening because at some point the seals were being overcome. Typically those windows have two or three seals when they shut and eventually we were getting beyond those seals. But really, if you were in a hurricane and that happened, you'd be talking about just mopping the windowsill with a rag. Other than that, no water's getting into the cavity. And I think that's obviously the big takeaway for this whole rig, right? They've got this massive rig, they're testing their assemblies, and these assemblies are actually getting to structural failure, which I think we're gonna get on this, on this series of windows. Now these are smaller windows, though. It's harder to make a smaller window fail than a bigger window. I actually saw some footage from these guys when they did a test last week with a bigger window. You can see this opening here has two, but last week they had basically one large window in that opening. And as they took that pressure up, they actually burst the glass on that one because you've got more air pressure against a big sheet of glass that bursts through there. On these, my guess is we're actually gonna see the frames fail on these slider vinyl windows before we see the glass fail. But let's find out, we're gonna ramp it up but the cool part about this testing, again, is that the products on the other side, those Prosigo Argard products, are holding out the wind and the air as long as the structure is holding out. That means that when you build a house on the coast, when you build a house for extreme environments or tornadoes, which really can happen anywhere in the U.S., now you've got products for water and air sealing. They're going to keep your framing dry. They're going to keep the air and the water out of your cavities. And even up to tidal surges, which we showed in a previous test over here as well. Very, very cool. Now let's let the camera run and let's pump up the test and see what happens to these windows as we get to some hurricane forces. Okay, so here's what we did. We ran the test now, ramping it up as high as we could. The problem was because those vinyl windows were so leaky, we actually couldn't get high enough pressure to blow them out. Remember you saw the footage of the bigger pane that was able to blow out. That was twice or maybe really three times as much glass surface area. But on these smaller leaky vinyl windows, if we speed up the footage here, you'll see that they, the frames bowed big time. We really thought they were gonna pop out. In fact, I thought the actual sash was gonna pop out and that's how they were gonna break. But no, even ramping them up, we couldn't get enough pressure in the chamber because of the loss and as you can see, super leaky windows. But one interesting factor that I think helped these windows from not breaking was that Prosco air dam, which we basically used as a caulking between the jam of the window and the wood jam. And we did that on all four sides, the sill, the head, both jams. And remember, because this is an adhesive product, it basically glued the window in place. So there's another benefit of using the Prosco system to install your windows. I've really enjoyed my trip out to Kansas to see the Prosco labs and their facilities. You know, this is an 82 year old family owned company. They're on the fourth generation. I love that these guys are actually testing the products. And what we saw today was that by using their family of products, for instance, this Cat 5, which was named because it can actually handle a category five storm like we showed in that testing. We can go from a very moisture sensitive material like OSB that we use all over America, and we can use their waterproofing products to get a very watertight, very airtight, very energy efficient assembly and house that's gonna last for not just decades, but generations. And all that mother nature throws at those houses, whether you're building a coastal house that's gonna get a hurricane every year or two, or whether you're building like I am, more in the middle of the state where I have an occasional tornado, I have wind and weather and I get six inch rainstorms, we all have extreme weather no matter where we're building in America. And I love that these products are really gonna get you an incredibly tight bomber assembly with really fairly simple tools. 
Sean, really appreciate you showing us how to use this. Look for another video that Sean and I made back at one of my Austin job sites where Sean actually walked me through all the steps for waterproofing with these systems. I'll put a link in the description below. Otherwise, check out prosigo.com. These guys have been sponsoring my videos for a couple years now. If you don't already subscribe to our channel, hit that subscribe button below. We've got new content every Tuesday and every Friday. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on The Build Show.